Hi guys, today Illegal launched a new 3D printer to the market, the Centauri Carbon, which is said to be a strong competitor to Bamboo Labs 3D printers. But is this statement true? Let's find out. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Rui and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. Ok, so let's start with the announced features of this new printer. The Centauri Carbon is a printer that comes mostly assembled. You only need to remove the printer from the box, follow the instructions to unlock the moving parts, connect the display and the filament spool holder, and that's it. Simple as that. This printer is a Core XY machine with direct drive setup. It can reach high speeds up to 500 mm a second and accelerations up to 20,000, and at the same time reach a good print quality. It's equipped with strong stepper motors and high-performance 4260 stepper drivers. The structure is very sturdy, with a top frame and chassis craft with integrated die casting along with four reinforced aluminum alloy pillars and stainless steel side panels. The overall dimensions are 490 by 398 by 404 mm. Inside the print head, there is a quick heating hot end equipped with a 60 watt ceramic heater and an ultra durable nozzle craft from brass and hardened steel. This setup can reach temperatures up to 320 degrees C. To cool the layers, it uses a high speed 5020 blower with speed feedback. This allows the machine to know the fan speed at any time. Regarding the filament types, this printer is compatible with lots of different filament types from the basic PLA, PETG, TPU, ASA and so on, and up to more technical ones such as the carbon fiber ones. The enclosed chamber allows a more precise temperature control, which is important to handle filaments that need a hot environment and also prevent warping and other printing issues. The extruder is a hardened steel dual gear working with the gear reduction ratio of 5 to 2. The extruder also features an integrated filament cutter for automatic cutting and retraction of filament. Both the door and top cover are made from tempered glass, allowing the user to easily check its interior and the prints. There's also a high power external circulation cooling fan designed to improve cooling efficiency for high speed printing models and a nano mineral crystal air filter designed to capture odors and particles released during printing. As for the heat pad, it's AC powered and with 1000 watts at 220 volts, which means it can reach the set temperature really fast. The print volume is 256 on the three axes. The build plate is flexible and magnetic and has two different textures. One of them was designed for PLA which provides a much better adhesion. For the leveling, the printer does not have the traditional knobs under the bed. Instead, it uses four pressure sensors which allows a full automatic leveling and Z-axis compensation and this way eliminates the traditional leveling with the paper procedure. For the motherboard, the printer is equipped with a newly developed high-speed board with dual-core processors, silent stepper drivers and 8 GB of internal memory to store model data. With the printer connected to the internet, new firmware versions can be downloaded directly from the internet to the printer and installed automatically. It's possible to send models to print remotely by Wi-Fi or by USB flash drive. Together with the automatic leveling, the printer also has a semi-auto belt tension system, vibration compensation and pressure advanced compensation. It's also equipped 
with an internal light and camera for print monitoring and time-lapse recording. At the back is a filament waste bin to clear out filament residues and a silicon nozzle cleaning brush. The display is a 4.3 inch capacitive touch display. The filament spool holder and filament runout sensor are located at the side of the printer for easy access. And finally, the connection to the printer. It's possible to connect the printer through Wi-Fi using a browser and its IP or using a Lego slicer which is based on Arca slicer. Ok, now that we have checked the specifications of this new machine, let's go ahead with the unboxing and assembly. The printer comes very well packed and in the box we have the top cover of the printer and the printer itself. All the other accessories are packed inside the printer. Inside the smaller box we see the user manuals. Then we can find a needle to unclog the nozzle, the filament holder, the display, blades and screws, tools, a USB flash drive, lubricant, glue and finally a sample of white PLA. Similar to other models of the same kind, the print pad is locked with three screws for transportation purposes. The screws are clearly marked with red arrows and must be removed before turning on the printer. Next, we can remove the cardboard protection from the print head. On the right side, inside the machine, we remove the foam that comes inside the filament scrap exit. Next, we can install the display. We start by removing the adhesive tape that holds the display cable, which in our case was difficult to remove. As already mentioned, the display is a 4.3 inch full color capacitive touch screen. We connect the cable to the display and carefully we fit the display hooks into the existing cutouts on the printer. Regarding the filament spool holder, it's attached on the right side of the machine and all we need to do is insert it into the opening and turn to lock it. Finally, we need to put the top cover on, remove all the protective films and the machine is ready to work. As we can see, the assembly took less than 5 minutes and was extremely simple. By the time we released this video, the manufacturer still didn't announce the price of this machine. The only information from the manufacturer is that it will be under $500. Well, let's wait and see. And that's it for the first video about the new Illegal Centauri Carbon 3D printer. Stay tuned because we will publish the second video with all the tests and pros and cons of this machine. We will see you guys next time. Bye!